We've all been there before. We've had long days where things are breaking down left and right. Family members becoming ill. Conflicts come up between friends. Overdue projects pilling on your desk. Bank account balances at an all-time low and shit starts to hit the fan. Sometimes everything comes crashing down all at once and it becomes too much to bear. While those are probably the most difficult moments in our life, and they're also inevitable. Life isn't always going to be sunshine and rainbows, and the acceptance of the idea that things will go wrong is key. But what do you do after that? How do you cope and how do you clear everything away, fix problems and start off on a blank slate? This is where stoicism can come in and try to save the day. You may be thinking that it sounds too good to be true, but it isn't. Stoicism is not some complex idea that you would need to spend four years at university studying. Instead, it's meant to be extremely practical and applicable. This is coming from someone that loves actionable concepts and can take some time before actually adopting new complex frameworks in life. In a world and time full of stress, anxiety, unrest, and a global pandemic, it's important to be mindful of our own mental health and well-being. While there are numerous ways to cope and deal with the bad events that happen in our life, Stoicism is one of the best tools that you can start using as part of your toolbox for life. Stoicism is endorsed and has been practiced by many all around the world. So much so that many of the world's most brilliant authors, artists, athletes, entrepreneurs, and politicians have adopted Stoicism to help them be better at what they do and help them move forward. Some famous people that you might know Practicing this philosophy include Ryan Holiday, Tim Ferriss, Vice Admiral James B. Stockdale, Pete Carroll, President Theodore Roosevelt, and many others. At the core, Stoicism is a philosophy focused on the principles of helping people live their best lives. It provides the frameworks toward helping you maximize positive emotions, minimize negative ones, and helps you to make better decisions in life based on your core values. A quote from the famous Marcus Aurelius sums up what Stoicism meant to him. Objective judgment now at this very moment. Unselfish action now at this very moment. Willing acceptance now at this very moment. Of all external events, that's all you need. Marcus Aurelius, meditation Stoicism can be broken down into four cardinal virtues. Wisdom, temperance, justice, and courage. These four virtues can be seen pretty much everywhere you look when we discuss Stoics, their beliefs, strategies, and frameworks towards living a better life. Here are some practical principles, strategies, and ideas that you can start adding to your everyday life to make it a more enjoyable one. The chief task in life is simply this, to identify and separate matters so that I can say clearly to myself which are externals not under my control and which have to do with the choices I actually control. Where then do I look for good and evil? Not to uncontrollable externals, but within myself to the choices that are my own. Epictetus Epictetus and many of the Stoic friends believed in the acceptance of what is and isn't in our control and the fact that not all things will go the way we want. With this realization, Stoics taught people to not focus on what we can control and try to expand what Stephen Covey would call our circle of influence. By not spending energy on what we can't control, i.e. politics, the weather, surprising events, etc., we can be more at peace, allowing us to take action on what we can do to mend or improve the situation. Waste no more time arguing what a good man and woman should be. Be one. Marcus Aurelius Stoics strongly believed in the idea of using the facts and information you're given to make quick decisions and take action. They also wanted people to just do, and not only think about principles or the theory behind things. Lastly, surrounding this quote, Stoics cared a lot about morals, values, and living a just life. No person has the power to have everything they want, but it is in their power not to want what they don't have, and to cheerfully put to good use what they do have. Seneca. Being Stoic doesn't mean that you have to give up everything and practice minimalism to the extreme. What it does mean is that we should be making the most out of what we have and avoid chasing many materialistic things. Seneca would often intentionally spend a few days every once in a while in poverty, living on nothing more than ragged clothes and a lack of food. He realized that he was still as happy as he was before, as long as he was in good health. The principle of gratitude is so important since we often take what we have for granted. 
Stoics accepted that life is not going to be a smooth and easy journey. They know that troubles and roadblocks are going to be there, and many times they even try to prepare for it. While it doesn't mean they are happy about things going wrong, it does mean that they try to make the most out of all situations. Suppose that you got laid off from your job. A Stoic would most likely be upset for a bit, but simply pick themselves back up and try to see the good in that situation. Perhaps it's an opportunity to start their own venture, create their own startup, go travel for a bit, assuming they can get creative, or have the financial means, or be productive in some form. Stoics understand that life is short, and try to avoid as much time being upset or untranquil as possible. Oftentimes, bad events happen in our life, and people react negatively to them, either annoyance, anger, or sadness. Instead, Stoicism gets us to change the lens and perspective that we see the world from, and try to broaden our horizons. This is even proved in psychology with cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, which focuses on the idea that our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors are intertwined. Changing our thoughts, the way we see things, and how we react, we'll be able to experience reality differently. Some people might be happy about failing at something because they think it's an opportunity to learn and improve, while others will be upset and wallow in their own self-misery. Usually events don't make us upset, but the thoughts do. Change the way you see things and change your life. Let us prepare our minds as if we'd come to the very end of life. Let us postpone and nothing. Let us balance life's books each day. The one who puts the finishing touches on their life each day is never short of time. Seneca, keep death and exile before your eyes each day, along with everything that seems terrible. By doing so, It can be hard, but the rewards are incredible. Greater happiness, more tranquility, better productivity, and a better life for you and all of those that surround you. Many people I've spoken to have mentioned that they were taught many of these principles and live by them, but only truly understood the connections once they come across Stoicism. With something that's changed so many people's lives, you might as well just get started with it today. If you're still not on board, I have only one question left. 
What's stopping you from being a Stoic the second you leave this video?